Hi Sagittarius, this is Marishi Himachan Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this week. Sagittarians out there, Sun, Moon, Horizon, Venus. Sagittarians out there. Your first card is a Queen of Cups. Somebody, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian energy uh, or a Taurus energy. It seems like uh, you're waiting for something to come through okay somebody to offer you something you're very much dependent on it uh, i also see there is an imbalance in uh, in energy someone is not reciprocating you're putting in the effort but uh there is no response There is imbalance in give and take. One person is doing the work, the other person isn't bothered. Sagittarians, what else? The next card is this one. Five Cups. Speaks about so much regrets, so much disappointments. Crying over spilt milk. Still focused on it. Sorry. Still focused on what has been lost. Okay, but there is, um, yeah, um, what has happened in the past? Hmm? It's overwhelming because you cannot stop thinking about it. You don't like how things are right now. And you're trying to make things work. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy or probably a Scorpion energy. See, one person is a giver and the other person is like an ass. Like, not doing much. Okay, ten of wands. It has been a struggle. It has been a challenge. Some of you might be dealing with another Sagittarius energy. Okay, it's, it's weighing you down. Whatever, how, however things are right now, it's just weighing you down. It's just too much. It's like a cross on your back. You're carrying this cross. That's why you are not able to, uh, you know, stop focusing on what has happened in the past. You're still there. You're still stuck there emotionally. Because when we saw the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, you're still giving and giving. Hmm? Nine of Pentacles. You're by yourself. Okay? This is a single um, single energy. You don't have a partner in the deck. Not like, unlike the Empress. Empress has an Emperor. So you buy yourself. So it feels like there, there has been a... Uh, you've been separated. You are, you know... Something happened where you feel like you have been outcasted. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo energy. Your next card is this one though, three of wands, but yet you're still waiting. You're still hoping for things to go back to where it was once upon a time. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy. Somehow you have made up your mind. Okay? There is a clarity that things will go back to where it was. Things, they will come back. Everything is going to be all right. Hmm? That's a way you're thinking. You made up your mind. Like some kind of, you know, clarity has come through. That they will come back. That is why you are not giving up. Hmm? Yes. Uh, strength card. You, you're just licking your wounds and you're like consoling, convincing yourself. Everything is going to be alright. They will come back. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy or probably an Aries energy. You're very much passionate about them. About this whole situation. If you feel separated from them, you uh, you have this uh, kind of breakthrough. 
you know, in your headspace, how you came to that decision. Um, you have this perspective in the way you're thinking that, you know, we will be able to build things back again. We will be together again. I'm looking at the Knight of Rods. You're very passionate about them. You're very passionate about getting back together with them. All right. Yes, for the wheel to turn around. Okay, you're very much passionate about this happening. For things to go back to where it was. Fire swords. It shows, uh, it speaks about you fighting. The other person has already walked away. Hmm? Sorry. Uh, it's a lost, it's a lost battle. But I see you not giving up yet. You're still fighting. It's a lost cause. The other person is not bothered. But yet, you're, you're not willing to give up. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. Moving on, Sagittarius. Not the best reading. Sorry. What else? Seven of Cups. Speaks about optimism. Your head up in the clouds. There's something else. This one. Your optimism is regards to this. And there was another one which wanted to show up, which is the um, hanged man, which speaks about things are in limbo right now. But when, you know, it's, it's like a time off. You're just by yourself, isolated. But yet, you know, you have made up your mind. In the traditional deck, this person has a, the hanged man has a halo around his head. Okay, so the person is getting enlightened. If you know the story about Buddha, he gets his enlightenment when he sits under the tree. This person is hanging from the tree. Okay? So, he has made up his mind, this is going to happen, this is how it's going to be. But it all speaks about being optimistic, having your head up in clouds. It's out of reach, but yet, you feel like, you can achieve this. What are you uh, being optimistic about is the Ten of Pentacles which speaks about um, having this future which has a potential for being stable, giving you the stability, giving you the security, everything what you wanted. This is what you're hoping for. Okay. Feel like you're getting bashed. Sorry. I don't wish that for you. Uh, but uh, no, yeah, some of you might be dealing with the Vago energy. All right. Some of you might be dealing with the Scorpion energy. Two of Wands. All you, all what you want is to manifest the other person back into your life. Hmm? You're fighting a battle which has, which you've lost. Yes, speaks about turning the wheel around, back to where it was once upon a time. Very, uh, being very uh, impulsive. You just want to go in there and make this happen. Hmm? Knight of Swords is a very abrupt energy, like a very... Um, Kind of immature energy as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. You want to, you know, get to them. Communicate to them. It's like very fast moving energy. You don't want to waste your time thinking. You just want them. You want to do something about this. Some of you might be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius or a uh, Capricorn energy. Moving on, Sagittarius, what else? Ace of Swords. It's a repeat energy because I've already spoken uh, about it. You made up your mind. Like it's it's like clear as day for you. I don't know how you came to that conclusion, but that's that's what 
you know they are rubbing it you know in your face this is all revolved around the ace of swords the uh your perspective not mine it's 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 not we telling you or how it's going to be it's your head space that there will be a transition hmm? i will also ask you to look at it okay with a clear mind and understand it's already spilled you cannot fill up the cups anymore focus on what is behind you the two cups which is standing which is full focus on that rather than wasting your life on what has been lost okay you need to think straight for your own sake my ears are hurting so you need for your own sake okay bring about that transition in your life it's about time to uh cut off the past which is not serving you if it's dead just leave it and walk away hmm? some of you might be dealing with a strong scorpio energy the scorpio 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 what else very harsh way right i know nine of cups your next card is a lover spell but the nine of cups speaks about this is everything what you wanted this connection with this person this bond which you had with this person is you know brought you happiness now they were your hopes wishes desires everything it brought you satisfaction in your life it brought you contentment it could be the reason why it's difficult okay so i'm going to pull that card out and leave it you're very optimistic about having this back having this connection back in your life some of you might be dealing with the gemini energy that is why you're waiting again two sevens together you feel it's meant to be like it's destined like you know divine number 7 in um the indian tradition we speak about seven lives together right we take uh seven rounds around uh the fire yeah uh making the vow that we are going to be bonded for the next seven um lives okay we're going to be partners for the next seven lives that's a little too much but yeah so that kind of uh you know you feel like no uh, i don't say these words you feel like that's your mind space you feel like this person is your soulmate i said it you feel like that is why you're still waiting for them to come through hmm very optimistic head up in the clouds you need to break through the bullshit i know i might get a lot of uh, dislikes but this is what i need to say and i cannot help it If you have noticed I never ask for subscribers on my channel because of the same reason because I cannot make every one of you happy and I'm not obliged to because you're my subscriber I'm not obliged to be on my channel only if you want to hear what is the actual reality yeah don't ask me to bullshit that is the only reason why I I, I don't force anybody to you know like my channel or subscribe on my channel because i might not be able to make most of you happy with what i come through it makes you it makes me feel bad but if this is my job then i cannot play around with it your next card is the hermit which speaks about shining the light 
assessing the situation, understanding what is actually going on in there. Okay, see through it. You are in the dark. It's about time you need to light the lamp. Okay, and seek the answers. Some of you might be dealing with Virgo energy. Okay, light the lamp on this, on your dreams, on what, on what this person. Okay, for you, they are uh, your star. You see them as your, you know, just like the Nine of Cups which came earlier. You see them in that spotlight. Yeah, it's about time to go a little closer and understand what this person wants. What is happening in their life? They might be involved with somebody else. Whom are you waiting for? Hmm? Because we got the Seven of Pentacles and now the Three of Wands. Okay, a little earlier I showed you the Seven, seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles which came through. You want, you're waiting, you're waiting. Hmm? And three of wands, you're expecting them to come back. But the person whom you are waiting for, just, you know, get a clearer picture. Ace of Swords, have a clearer picture. What's going on in their life? What is the possibility of them coming back? Which I see as nil. For you to uh, be assured, you know, Get your answers for yourself. Don't, don't even depend on this reading. Get your answers. You know, get your closure. It's very important. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. You're, you're stuck. This is a very helpless energy. Okay, confused energy. Not really. You feel like you're stuck in your head. Just cannot get over there. Okay, when I'm looking at the five cups. Because all you can think is about what happened. You cannot release yourself. But the truth is, you can. You just don't want to. Okay? You want to be in this victim mode. She's blindfolded. She's tied up with ropes. She has swords around her. But the truth is, it's all loosely tied. She can remove her, uh, uh, remove these ropes. You know, remove the blindfold. She can get, you know, she can just walk away. Only thing is, she's not having the courage to, or she's not yet ready to do it. See things for what it is. All right? Four of Pentacles, because you're still holding on to this. You don't want it to slip out. You don't want to... Uh, you know, um, seek the answers because then you don't have an excuse. That is why you're holding tight. Huh? Some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn energy. What was the other card? Uh, it is what? Gemini. Gemini energy. Sagittarius, what else? Who we got? Page of Swords. It's about time to stand up. Okay? Take your chances. Walk lies. Confront. If that is required, confront. Okay? If you seem lost, yeah? just, this is a very bitch mode energy for me. But that might be required. That is needed. It might seem very silly right now, like foolish, silly. But it might be needed. Okay, for you to get the answers. You need to start looking away from those five cups and take your chance in life. All right, moving on. Just thinking about it is a headache for you. So imagine me just reading your reading. Yes, Eight of Wands and the Empress. Just, just 
Yeah, this is a forward moving energy. The Fool card is also talking about, speaking about, you know, uh, jumping off the cliff. Not really. Um, taking your chances, taking a leap of faith. You know, starting over again, it's a card number zero. Starting fresh. Looking away from that darkness in your life. Looking away from the five cups, the past. Hmm? Empress, whatever brings you abundance, look at that. Okay, whatever brings you uh, stability back in your life. You know, go, go towards that. Travel. Maybe travel. Take charge of your life. Be very determined about what you want. Not, not the past. I'm asking you to move on with your life. Okay? Because you need to know you're worth it. Be very focused in your future rather than in your past. Okay? There's something else. It keeps showing me the Empress. And I also feel like there is a need to confront this person so you, you will get the closure which you need. Okay? Because this reading is just going to uh, give you insights if it is your story. But for you to actually, you know, cut the cord, the only way is for you to confront this person and get it out of their own mouth. That will help you. To actually release yourself from that eight of swords. Because otherwise you will be stuck for a very, very long time. Sagittarius, you make me tired. Okay? Uh, once that closure comes through, then you can charge forward. Like you can keep your chin high and move on with your life. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy. Your next card is this one. My of Pentacles. From the Empress to... The Nine of Pentacles. Look at that transition. You feel like you will have this. You have this partner. This partner will come back. All that. And the Empress kept coming back. Because it had. Uh, it wanted to show me that transition. Okay. You feel like you have this Emperor. Whom you separated from. But you have every hope in the world. That this person will come back to you. But they are, And you are still their Empress. But they are asking you to. You know, seek the answers with that hermit. You will have that clarity. You know, there will be a breakthrough. And you will understand you are by yourself. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles doesn't have a partner in this deck. So you by yourself. You don't have that emperor. That was just an illusion. Okay? They have moved on. They don't consider you as the partner. Okay? Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. We started uh, with the Queen of Cups and that is confirming you by yourself. Hmm? Who is waiting for this person to come through? Very harsh. I feel really bad. Sagittarius. And I'm a Sagittarius rising. So, sorry, I'm a Sagittarius moon. Sorry. Aquarius rising, but I only listen to my uh, cancer, a cancer, I only relate to cancerians. So, what is your last card Sagittarius? What is your last card? I don't want my energy to come to your reading, so I'm just breaking it. The next card is this one. Work out. And I have nothing to do the, uh, to this reading. Absolutely nothing. Okay? They're asking you to assess this whole situation. And the last card is beautiful. Okay? It speaks about transitioning. Speaks about renewal. Rebirth. Everything about you focusing on yourself. Three cards. Beautiful. The rest, just be done with it. Okay? Once you start asking for, um, you know... Asking the questions, you will get the answers, hmm? which will make you take the high road with the fool, which will uh, make you uh, make 
make you believe in yourself. You're good by yourself. Okay? You're taking a journey to start over. You focus on yourself. Because when I'm looking at the world, you, the priority is you. So there will be a renewal or a rebirth which is happening once you have assessed what is really going. And the reading might be helpful for some of you because it sheds a light only if it makes sense. All right? It sheds a light. It has been difficult for you to, uh, you know, think about this. But this reading might push you to think about it because center of the reading is Ace of Swords. It's about time to have that clarity and stop being so optimistic. Stop wasting your life. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yamashamshaloka. Until next week. Bye bye.